YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Can you? Vinyl Rhino Beer Review. Can you not? <laughs> like, no, I'd I greatly appreciate it. Why? Are you getting moist? N no. Oh. Nope. No, that's unfortunate. <laughs> are we doing another Tad and Magooch? Uh, yes, but not right now. We will no. do, we'll do a Fenelon Falls. And because we just did a Mexican style lager, Fenelon Falls also makes a Mexican style lager. Hmm. I didn't mind that one. Uh, this is four point no, sorry, five percent alcohol. So this is actually high for a Mexican style lager. Mexican style lagers are usually on the lighter side, usually under five. Light and crisp, with notes of sweet corn and hints of lemongrass, to be enjoyed every day, and any day. Whether you're heading through the blocks. In the summer, down the sled trails in the winter, or anything in between, we're here. Fenelon Falls Brewing Company, family owned in the heart of the Kawarthas, is committed to brewing exceptional beer while delivering a one-of-a-kind experience. Hope to see you soon. Oh, that was so nice. Ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. Wait a second. You say sweet corn over here, which would make me think that you're using corn in this beer, but there's no corn on this here. Okay. Okay, well, you know what, guys? It's time to work out. It's time to work out lifting beer. You're right, though. The thing with these novelty glasses is it's really hard to pour into them. Yeah, it's, it's not practical in any way, shape, or form. No, I mean, I hey, get it. Baby. It's a novelty, and I bought it solely as a novelty. It wasn't like I was like, oh, this is going to be amazing. Hey, baby. Yeah. You're flying low. Can the camera see it? No. Then I don't give a shit. Okay. My dick hanging out? Mm, nope. Then nobody should care. A little bit more. So it does hold what it says. It says it's a 24 ounce glass. It would hold 24 ounces. I don't know if you'd really want to drink 24 ounces out of it. Yeah, especially if the glug glug it does. Okay, so the Tadamagooch didn't smell great. But it smelled better than this. It almost has like a plaster smell to it. That's weird. It's almost like um almost like drywall putty. Mixed with beer. Yeah, it's it's the same out of the glass. Here you go. You can try it first. Get your glug glug gut down. Get your glug glug down. Do it's it. supposed to be like the corn? Get the glug glug down. Oh, yeah. Get that glug. That's a good face. That's a great face. That worries me. Oh, so God. I'm... It has a drywall taste to it. <laughs> Don't forget that. So I've never had a Fenelon Falls beer. They uh, actually have a really interesting lineup that we ordered. So this was the one I was least interested in, but I wanted to make the package worthwhile. Uh, the facial expression she's making makes me think that I made it worthwhile. Um, and I didn't hear a glug glug when you drank this one. It's not a taste. Okay, so there's this almost weird <laughs> melony taste from the hops in the back end. The front end does have like a very, I, I don't know if I'd say sweet corn, but possibly like maybe like cream corn. No, I like cream corn. I know that's probably not a popular opinion, but I actually like it. This does remind me of when Dave at the Cayman Kettle tried to make the albino beer, and I actually have the pictures of me holding it up in the glass, and it, he was trying to make a beer for the Albino Rhino Beer Festival that was an albino beer. It was supposed to be, like, pure white, and it was. It was thick, it was pasty, it was white, and he refused to bring it to the festival because it tasted like drywall speckle. This kind of tastes like drywall speckle, too. Yeah, it does. 
but it doesn't have the color and texture and everything else. And that thing was thick. It was creamy. It was, it was in your face. It was heavy and it left a fucking film on the glass and he refused to bring it. He's like, no, people are going to hate me because of it. They're going to think I don't know what, what I'm doing. And I'm like, Dave, do you know what experimental brewing is? And he's like, what do you mean? I go, you're making an experiment here. So you should offer this up to people. Let them try it. Yeah, it tastes like drywall speckle. But how many people have actually seen a super thick milk looking beer? Nobody, because nobody's going, you know what we can do? We can use as many oats and everything else we can think of in the grain bill as possible to make this beer look like this because it's the Albina Rhino Beer Festival. You would probably have won best in show with that beer, but it would have been gross. But people would have been like, look at what they tried to do. My buddy George Eagleson, who used to be the brewmaster at FNM and used to brew at a bunch of other places as well, uh, GLB, he's brewed at Wellington, he, he'd been a professor at the college, he made a beer called Why Not? And I mean, it was a disgusting beer, it was an asparagus smoked meat beer. But why not make it? Well, because it's going to suck. But I'm getting off point here, but I'm getting off point because this kind of tastes like drywall speckle. It's not the worst beer I've ever had. It's not. And it's not offensive, really, as much as my wife hated it. It's just not something I want to drink. Um, does it taste like a Mexican-style lager? Does it taste like a Soul or a, or a Tecat or a Corona or a, a fuck, um, Familier? Or uh, the list goes on of, of Dos Equis. Um, actually, maybe a Dos Equis Amber. Maybe. Maybe. But it's not really my thing. Uh, out of 10 on that? Like a 1. So the wife gives it a 1. I'd probably give it a five. I've had a lot worse, and I'm sure there's a huge population of people that would like this. And maybe if it was cold, it wouldn't have that weird spackle taste. Maybe it still would. I don't know. Cheers, guys. Bye.